Warning, the following video may contain Smoking, drinking, squirrel, stupid humor, power tools, the mysteries of the universe, really bad robot, dancing, dreamer, tree hugging, hippies, llama and wood, break rooms, furniture, power arms, education, hair growing, shameless plugs, product placement, and onion rings. Viewer discretion is advised. Weekend Project. I know, I know. Sorry. Where you been? Well, you know I've been on that big project down in Cincinnati. Well, you're late, man. Seriously? Like, by how much? About three months. Ooh. Well, hello, fellow Chopperoos. The Big Chopperoo and Safety Dan here. Hey. And today's episode, we're going to show you how to make this Corners Organizer's Reader's Book Stand. So it's a fairly simple project that you could make over the weekend. It's mostly made out of some three-quarter inch plywood. I did use some solid maple on the top and some trim that I was able to pick up at my big box store. Other than that, let's get going and show you how to make it. And now a friendly reminder from Safety Dan. Seriously, how many times do I got to tell you, dummy? People! This is the word this things. I'll begin by making the sides out of the plywood. I've measured for where the shelves will be, and I'm going to route a quarter inch dado into the side pieces. I'm going to route both the side pieces at the same time. This way I'm assured to keep the shelf pieces in perfect alignment. Now I'll rip the plywood, making the two individual side pieces. I'm going to join the two halves together by using biscuits and glue. I'm cutting the subtop and bottom pieces as well as the bottom base pieces. These pieces will be attached with the pocket screws and glue. And now some assembly. I'm using one inch screws for the shelf pieces because of the quarter inch dado. However, I'm using inch and a quarter screws for the actual base.
Every edge of the unit needs to be edge banded. I have to be careful when using the edge banding for the dados. I use a flush cutting saw and cutting down to the bottom of the dado. Then I use a knife and cut across the banding. Then it's just a little cleanup with a file. I'm going to cut and apply the baseboard and the top trim next. The top is a solid piece of maple that was glued up and then routed on roundovers on all four edges. All the shelves were stained and then sprayed with a top coat. Before I sprayed the top coat on the side pieces, I put some tape in the dados so that later glue could be applied. The tape kept the top coat off of the bare wood to give me a much better adhesion when the glue is applied. Then the final shelves are attached with some one inch screws and our shelf unit is complete. Well, there you go, and you too can make the simple corners, readers, organizers, book stand. It's not much of a bookshelf. Oh, no, no, it's not a bookshelf, it's a book stand. See, I like to read a lot of books, but I don't always complete them. However, I don't want to put it away, because I'll probably read it later. So, I like to use this. Now, some folks would say I have ADD, but yeah, I don't think so. What, you can't add? <laughs> yeah, I can add. Well, if you like what you saw today, subscribe to us on YouTube. Jet, two plus three. Five. <laughs> Five. Or you can join us on Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget about the blog. Well, there's one more thing that I got to do. Chad, I think it's time for you to dance. Oh, yeah. This program brought to you by... <laughs> What's it called? <laughs> What's it called? You build it! <laughs> organizers, reader, book stand. I know, I know. <laughs> I know we gotta do it again. <laughs> I know, I know, sorry. <laughs> okay. Make this corner organizer's reader bookshelf. It's not a bookshelf. <laughs> I knew I wasn't gonna remember what is this. This corner organized reader's book stand, I guess it could be a bookshelf. Well, I only the toy so. Well, if you like what you saw today, subscribe to us on YouTube. Okay. Two plus three. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Was
after that. So <laughs> Yay. <laughs>